I like turtles. All right, everybody, just wanted to take a second to talk to you about some tortoises we took in today. Uh, pretty sure these are Herman's tortoises. One major problem with these guys. One finger. You see how bad that shell is flexing? These guys definitely were not getting proper calcium in their diet. They weren't getting proper lighting. Um, a couple of females. You can see their nails are pretty long. Um, improper walking surfaces. This one's got a pretty bad underbite. I'll have to see if we can't uh, get that to line back out. Um, this one's got a soft shell as well. Not as bad as this one. This one's definitely much worse. I'm barely pushing. I know it in the video it looks like I'm really pushing, but I'm barely pushing on that. Um, nail issues on that one as well. You can see they just haven't been walking right. Um, haven't really seen these two stand up on their own a lot yet. Really not moving much. So we'll get some work to do on these guys. Um, some liquid calcium to start. Some good calcium with D3. And lots of strong UV light. They will also get time outside every day to help with, with that. We have to get these shells strengthened out. Um... Otherwise, you know, these two are just going to perish. But we'll see what we can do. Please, 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 if you get a tortoise, make sure you're getting the proper care for them. Proper lighting, proper food, uh, no calcium blockers. But just wanted to take a second and talk about these two. Okay, a couple of red-footed tortoises. Uh, you can see this this one here has got some beak issues, um, misalignment. This one's a little better. You notice that both have some really bad pyramiding, um, improper diet, improper setup. Um, when these two came in, they were pretty soft in the shell. Uh, they've definitely hardened up. Got some good lighting on them, some good calcium. Um, Doing much better. They had some nail issues as well. Uh, looking better. Still got a little bit of length to go to work on. But definitely walking better. Uh, still a little light. Still need to gain some more weight. Start growing again. Um, but otherwise, we'll work on them. Okay, so this is one that... This, this is a, a sad little Russian, will never be 100%. Uh, you can see definitely has some issues with beak, nails, uh, skin issues, definite nail issues, and definitely shell issues. Um, not 100% what happened to this one other than really bad care. Um, which is just sad. She could have been an amazing, amazing pet to somebody, but, um, definitely wasn't getting the care she needed. This beak is going to take a while, a little bit off at a time. Don't want to take too much at once. Um, definitely something to, to work on as she's eating. Um, you can see she doesn't quite stand right. She does have some issues there. And part of it's the length of the nails. Um, you can actually see, get this to focus right, part of the, the quick there. So as we work this up, that quick starts receding. Um, you just don't want to take too much at once. So you can see the fronts are just as long. And definitely some issues with the shell. So this is a, a work in progress. She'll be a Permanent resident here at the rescue. Probably use her for some education on what not to do and why, what happens. So, but shell's pretty solid. So, no real issues there. But you can see, just doesn't line up right. But it is what it is. So, just keep working on her and see what we can't get done with her. 
Okay, a couple more little guys. These ones came in pretty underweight. Not really walking right. I don't like to get its feet up underneath it the way it should. Um, definitely with this one. See, we've got some beak issues going on. Something we're working on slowly. Shell's not bad, but definitely an animal that's pretty light. Uh, you can see again, longer nails. Not terrible on this on those little ones, uh, but definitely a little long. Um, this one here, though, is one I'm worried about a little more. Like I said, doesn't necessarily like to get its feet under it the way it should. Um, and really light, like really, really light. So it's eating. I'm hoping it can gain some strength and gain some, some use of these legs. But you can see they just splay out even when I try to tuck them back in and get it to stand right. Doesn't take much before they wind up spread back out again. So... A little one we're working on there. Shells aren't terrible. Oh, let me see if I can focus. So, again, just a couple more. Okay, so here's a couple of really cool specimens in the rescue. Um, these are Texas tortoises. Yes, we are permitted for them. Uh, we're one of the few up here in the Metroplex that are. Um, very cool that we get to work with these species. Uh, both of these were surrendered pets. People had them illegally. Um, this one here actually has some shell rot issues that we're trying to get fully fixed. Um, has some issues on the belly here. And you can see that one compared to that one what the belly should look like. Um, so definitely some issues there. Not too bad with the beaks at all. Looking good there. Um, good little attitude. These are such a cool, cool species of native tortoise to deal with. Um, but please, 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 if you do find them in a wild, leave them there. Just enjoy them and put them back. Because um, once they're in captivity, we can't return them. And it's such a shame. Uh, but stuff like this, this is why they can't be returned. Um... This one's got quite the problem with its with its skin, so uh, we keep them isolated, keep them treated, um, keep them eating and, and going. But you know, it, it's something that definitely takes a while once it's you know in the shell and under the keratin. Um, but it's a shame that these two aren't out out in the wild where they should be, um, because somebody picked them up and. Brought them up here to the Metroplex. You know, we're outside of their range. So they spend their summers outside here. And then uh, in the winter, we bring them inside so they don't get too cold. But there we go. Okay. So this little guy is probably one of my favorite to have in the rescue right now. Um, just because... Of that I don't know if you can see that this is a five-legged box turtle so it's got let's see if I get it to focus it's got this weird goofy fifth leg so this is a uh, a baby that uh, somebody had and they gave it to the rescue um, and we we used it for education we we haven't really taken it out too much because, you know, we've been trying to just make sure it, it grows and does good. But, man, it's such a cool little box turtle. Like I said, got that, that fifth little leg there. And every now and then it moves, but not much. This little bugger eats well, does great. Oop. But... Just another one. It's got just a hair of a little deformity in the shell there. Other than that, growing strong, gets around well, does great. Okay, a couple box turtles that we recently took in. 
Um, we've actually got a bunch of different box turtles in. Um, people find them, keep them as pets, get tired of them, release them, what have you. Um, but what's the problem with these guys? I don't know if you can see that there. Got quite a bit of shell rot. Uh, also has something funky going on with the nails. I'm sure you can see that there, a little, little dryness. Also, some issues with the belly and the sides. That shell rot kind of goes all the way around. So, stuff we're working on. Um, this little ornate here, uh, issues with keratin loss on the shell, whether it was a animal attack or who knows. Also got issues with nails. Um, had some issues with dry skin. But the nails are, nails are really bad. Quit kicking, buddy. So, we'll get them on some rough surfaces, um, different textures in, in their tortoise tables, um, their different uh, setups outside, allow them to climb over some rocks and logs and leaves and mulch and stuff like that. So, uh, that definitely will help. Also, when we feed them, I'm trying to feed them on something rough, like a flat piece of slate or a paver stone. Kind of help with the beak, keep that that beak shaped up where it needs to be. So you can see this guy here has got some nice little dry skin too. And I didn't even, I didn't even look. Looks like a female. Of course it is. Look at that face. But, so you can definitely see some issues with that front foot there so just some box turtles we're working with and get a shot of that there's more of that that shell rot that we're working on getting under control so this is a nice cool little species uh this is a wood turtle i believe this is a central american wood turtle um the northern wood turtles have a lot of orange on them uh, around the the head and the skin. Um, the sad part about this one, the owner didn't realize that these were bog turtles. So this little guy hasn't been around much water. Um, does have some issues with that. Uh, also does have an upper respiratory infection. So working on that, keeping it nice and warm. Yeah, a little minor issue with some shell rot here as well. Uh, seems to be common. We get a lot of these turtles in. Got some shell rot. But definitely uh, get her set up. Something a little more boggy and warm. Um, and let her enjoy some, some swampy water. Pushing through it. And go from there. Okay, one more. And I'll quit boring you with all our land turtles and tortoises. Uh, leopard tortoise. Actually, really not much wrong with this little one. So, got a slight bit of pyramiding. Other than that, really gorgeous specimen. Um, came in. Just been letting it grow and go. Did have a touch of soft shell for a baby. Um, you can see it's still pretty small. But shell is nice and solid now. Everything's good. Um... Belly's nice. Loves to crawl around. Let's see. Beak looks nice and strong. Hi, little guy. But, all right. Well, I just wanted to share some of the stuff that currently is in the rescue. Turtles and tortoises. Uh, stuff we're dealing with with land stuff. Some unique cases. Soft shells. Stuff like that. Um... You know, we, we always try to take the time to make sure everybody understands what they're getting into, how to properly care for it, proper diet, that kind of thing. Um, and some of the turtles that you've seen and tortoises you've seen on this video are prime examples of why. Um, if we can keep them from becoming that bad, then that just helps everybody out. So, all right. If you have any questions, feel free to post them down below and we'll get to them. Thanks, guys.